The chemical company that makes the drug or supplies the drug, Dilantin, ran out of, uh, I guess, my uh, prescription was for 100 milligrams, and what they had to supply me was 60 milligram capsules, and uh, I was taking, the, the prescription was for five in the morning and five at night, or five uh, alternate days, and then the the drug company or the the drug store phoned me and let me know that the regular Dilantin was available, and I picked it up and I didn't really look that closely at it, and so I I mistakenly thought that it said take five when actually it said take three, so for four days I was taking five of a hundred milligram uh, pills, and. <laughs> I guess that ran into an overdose. And then I um, uh, started getting incredibly tired and then um, started, my hands started to shake and then my head started to shake a little. It still wasn't very serious. And then my legs started to shake. Like that. And it wouldn't stop. I mean, it was much more violent than that. And I couldn't uh, navigate at that point. I thought I'd better call the paramedics. And they brought me to the hospital where they diagnosed it as an overdose of dilantin. Can you open your eyes for me? You kind of have to work at it, don't you? I want you to just watch my finger way over here. Now up. That's sort of oscillatory, isn't it? Okay. How do you feel right now? I'm awake. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm tired. I'm heavy. I'm heavy. Could you follow my finger with your eyes now? And again back. And back. And now up. Yeah, they're definitely better now. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what it feels like? It, uh, just un uncontrollable sh shaking. Oh dear. Oh, that's very <laughs> unpleasant, isn't it? This, 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 this isn't, isn't ba bad. But we know that it'll stop on its own, don't oh, we? Oh, because yes. it stopped uh, oh, yes. even earlier today. It, it, it always. It always starts with the hand. The, the hand start, stops shaking. And then, then just for no reason, it'll just, it'll just stop. Are you capable of standing up now? Can I see what happens if you try? No, I think. I, I, I don't think. Don't think so. What if I stop it? Let's try you shake hand with me. That's that's now making me shake too, isn't it? Sorry. No, I, I'm stopping. Yeah, I see. Let's see what the um, mystery is under there. <laughs> oh my God! Is it good enough for a cooking show or not? <laughs> I've seen worse. The peas look okay. I think the dilantin or phenytoin is now back down to relatively low levels, or at least uh, Mm -hmm. not toxic. And right. I wonder how you're feeling now. Much, much better. Yeah. Today I went for a nice long walk. Just try this trick with my finger if I hold it here where you, you touch it and then your nose and go back and forth. That's right, as fast as you can. We substituted uh, Leviteracetam, which is brand name Keppra, for the phenytoin. And we kept you on this uh, low dose of Clobazam. 
And I'm just wondering how you feel now. I'm feeling very well. Very much, much better. I have uh, had no side effects from the new medicine that I am aware of. I have not uh, woken up in any strange places. Everything seems to be back to normal. Has there been any unusual movement at all or not? None at all. When, they, when the doctor in Kamloops uh, changed the prescription, and I don't remember to what, but he, he increased the dosage, which was the first time that I OD'd on Dilantin. And do you remember anything about what happened that time? Oh, absolutely. Um, it was much worse than this time. I, I started getting incredibly tired, and then I uh, started to shake a little, and I thought the best thing to do would be to lay down. But by the time I got from my kitchen chair to my bed, I had to crawl on all fours, and then my body just would not stop shaking. It was shaking violently.